Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. Before we begin, I would like to thank you all for all the support you guys have shown. You guys are very, very amazing. Like, we have crossed the 500 subscriber mark. It's a small step, but it's a very big step for me. Thanks a lot, guys, for all the support you are showing. Please keep loving like this, keep supporting this channel, and I'll try my best to provide as much amazing content as possible. So that being said, let's begin with today's video. So in this video, what we are going to see is we will see how we can include React in an already created website. So generally what we do is we can use Next, we use like a React, Create React app, either of those, or maybe Gatsby or some other framework. If you are using Vue, then we use uh, maybe Vi Vite, <laughs> Vue CLI and other tooling to develop a website or a web app. But sometimes it might happen that, okay, you already have a website which is created with simple HTML and CSS and some vanilla JavaScript. And now your website needs some interactivity, which might be solved using React or you're using some other uh, website builders and you might want to add, which allows you to a certain extent to add some JavaScript code. And there you want to have React uh, code or view code or any other code, which help you to have that interactivity that these libraries and framework give it to us considering those scenarios how we can have react functionalities in already developed website so pretty simple to begin with here we have a simple website which is just having some components taken from tailwind ui so here you see that they have amazing components uh, some are free most of them are paid. So I've just used those free components and created some, I know it's not good looking, but somewhat good looking website. And what our aim is to just convert this form into a React component. The reason we are doing this is suppose if I do it in vanilla JS, then I have to have uh, on click on this button, need to listen for the change for the email, password, if it validation, then other things needs to be added. And there are so many things. In that case, what we could do is we could either use CDNs given by React. And again, it's not just React. You can use Vue. You can use Alpine, which is again another framework, like really good tool. Um, you could use any other framework which provides CDN and it will get your job done. But currently uh, for this video, we'll only focus on React. So here we have CDN links of React. So there are uh, non-minified scripts and there are or unminified script and there are minified scripts. So here I'm gonna take this minified versions. So let's copy them, go to our HTML file and I have already pasted them. So I'll just paste back again. So here you need to put your minified scripts. Okay, uh, next thing we need is, now we need to create a simple JS file here. Uh, as it's a form component, so I'll just call it form.js. Uh, and here, whatever code we have for the form, so I guess it begins from here till uh, here, oh, here actually. Yeah, so all this, we cut it from here, take it over here. Let's first create function form. So this is gonna be our component and here we can paste that. Now, next thing we need to do is you'll see that this is all JSX, so we need to convert this to a JSX format. So here I will, uh, for SVG's properties, I'll just change this to from kebab case to camel case. Then here also we have Araya hidden. Then we have class, it will become class name like this. Yeah, and then we have this some HTML tags which needs to be closed. So here, all those tags which are not closed, we'll just close them like this. Perfect. So our form component is somewhat ready. Now we need to add a uh, use state. So uh, as it's a function component, so we can use hooks with CDN as well, that's not a problem. So what we need is we need to bind our state values with this input, with one for email, one for password. So generally, if this was, let's say, a normal React app where you have created it using maybe Next.js or maybe Create React app, you might see this line, import React from React, okay? 
Now, as we are using CD, this React object or this React functionality is already there. So we don't need to do this import React from React, nor we need to do something like this, use a state, something like this, okay? We don't need to do this. What we need to do is simply go to our, okay, this needs to be wrapped into a return statement. So return, so this, let's first wrap this. So we are good for this, yep. Okay, so simply here we need to do is instead of doing such thing, so first we take, oh sorry, like such thing over here. First we take a variable and then we destructure it. So I'm going to say use state and that's going to come from React. Okay, this React over here. Now this React is already there in our CDN, so we don't need this line. Rather, we don't need to put that line at all. So now we have our use state. Now let's have our states. So here I'm going to say const email set email equal to by default the value will be black okay let's do the same for password okay now next thing is we need to bind it like we need to bind our form on submit as well so i'm not going to do any complete for login or something like that i'll just show you how to handle the submit so it's exactly same like how you do it in any react app or any react functional component so handle submit it's gonna take an event and here we can simply console our values so before that we need to prevent it from going forward so e dot prevent default and here we can console it so when I say going forward, it's mostly the server. The pre we are preventing the submit event to going forward so that it doesn't refresh the page or go to certain other URL or something like that. So here we can say email. That's our email that's being provided. Console.log. Then we have password. That's going to come from password. Okay. That's cool. Now let's bind this handle submit first on our form. So let's remove this action and method, these two things. And here I'm going to say on submit exactly what we do in any React function component. Just, just simply follow the JSX syntax, nothing else. Then binding our inputs. So here I'm going to say value. Oops. Value. This is going to be email on input. This is going to get or call a function or run a function. This function will simply do set email e dot target dot value. Exactly same thing for password. So here you can just simply paste this say password and this will be set to password. Okay, that's great. Now so far so we are good. So let's now use this in our index.html. Now to use this, what we need is we need a div over here. Okay. So I'm going to, or any HTML element, which can contain our form. So here I'm going to say div and give it an ID of form. Okay. And inside this div, we will render our React component. So to you do that here, I will need to include the script and I will give the SRC of form.js. Okay, because that's where our component resides. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to tell our script or in this script, we need to tell that, okay, we have the component. Now just mount that component in this div. Okay, so how we are going to do it? It's pretty simple. Outside our component, we will simply say react DOM. Now this react DOM again is going to come from this script tag over here. Okay, the CDN tag. Now, here we will say react dom dot render first we need the component what component to render which is our form component that we just created which is this one over here okay this can also take props that's not a problem so if you want to pass props you can pass it from here okay then okay we have the form then where to put this form like okay so we need we know that it's going to go in this index.html and that form is going to go in this div so what we are going to do is we will say document dot query selector and here we will pass the form as id as a form so the what was well, so if you notice this is these are like two separate parameters to this render function first is the component 
then we have the element where to mount this component so we are saying okay inside that html there is an element with id form so just go there and just mount it okay let's see if it works so if we go back on this oh we are seeing that it's not working so even if i refresh the page it's not working now why this is not working because we are missing a very important thing which is babel cdn okay now even when you use react with next create react app you will have babel installed automatically because babel is required to convert this jsx over here into understandable browser understandable javascript okay so or in simple words in vanilla javascript okay so how we are going to do this we will just put that cdn tag over here inside our head section so this is the cdn tag we are looking for copy it from here go over here paste it over here and then we just need to tell babel okay which script tag it should compile or which script tag script tag it should be worried about so here we are going to say type and we will say text babel okay now if we go back our page there is our form amazing now we have the form let's see if it wo really works so what i'm gonna do is i'll just clear all the console and then here i will type the email at the tab rate example.com then i'll type password one two three four five six seven eight nine and there it is perfect so we have our react component mounted and working well Okay, so that's how you could have React using CDN inside your already created website. So hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.